What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it would appear that I am a bit of a celebrity. I, I didn't know this. I, I had no idea that anybody in the video game industry even knew who I was. But apparently, Corey Barlog, who is the main creative director behind the God of War series, knows exactly who I am, knows my YouTube channel name, and knows that I deserve a punch. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of humbling how... Uh, how much I apparently live in people's heads rent free. Didn't even know who the guy was, and all of a sudden everybody was um, tagging me into this tweet, which is clearly just a joke. Corey's allowed to not like me. He's allowed to make jokes at my expense. It's totally fine. I'm not mad at him in the slightest. Uh, I do, I suspect after figuring out who Corey actually was, um, that he probably has a problem with maybe a video or two I made mocking the um, diversity of God of War. I'm guessing. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he's actually a viewer of the channel, a uh, regular hate watcher. I do have those, maybe a couple hundred of those. So maybe Corey's in that mix. But uh, over the weekend, this uh, Alana Pierce put out a, uh, a classic, I'll take something that never happened for 500, Alex statement about TwitchCon, which a social media director of IGN uh, chimed in uh, that we're going to have a laugh at. And then the whole conversation kind of devolves into a lot of uh, blue check marks in the industry who apparently really, really hate me, which, uh, you know what? That probably means I'm doing something right. Um, and I'm totally fine with it. Uh, as usual, you know, don't contact these people. We keep our laughs here on the YouTube channel. I don't support anyone going after anybody directly. Uh, although obviously I don't control you. You could do whatever you like, obviously. But, uh, if you care what I think, then, uh, I'd rather not give people fuel to use against me. Now the conversation started with, a guy just cut in front of me. I'm reading this in the voice. I I hear it in. I don't know who this person is. Apparently, she's got a long list of white knights as as we go down this, this thread, which is freaking hilarious, including the all whitest of knights, Bunty King, uh, who has some interesting things to say about me, too. Uh, by the way, I was not involved in this conversation at all. A bunch of you were taking me in. I, I don't know who any of these people are. Alana Pierce, apparently, she is... She works at Inside Gaming, um, apparently. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. A guy cut in front of me a line at TwitchCon, and I called him out on it. And he immediately responded with, how many subscribers do you even have? Yikes. Well, as, as I will say, I'll take things that never happened. Uh, this reads exactly like one of those woke eight-year-old tweets, like, I was having Cheerios with my eight-year-old daughter this morning, and she asked, why does that president hate me? And then everyone on Twitter retweets it and says things like Slay Queen and next uh, next president in the making or all sorts of you know crazy stuff like that. Maybe it happened. If it did happen, the guy's a moron. Um, but I'm inclined to believe it didn't happen. Then, of course, Zachary Ryan chimes in, who is the director of social content and strategy for IGN. Pretty big, fancy title. He's also a burrito enthusiast. I hope you punched him in the face. That's a normal reaction to somebody cutting in line, is to physically accost them. I don't know what it is about uh, people with blue check marks, but they seem to think that this solves everything. <clears throat> now, obviously, I can't talk about it, but there is a video on my channel that pretty much outlines exactly what happens when you react in this way. It's probably a good cautionary tale for you, Zachary Ryan, unless you have a large amount of money to defend your actions. Then Cody Barlog chimes in and says, dude, nobody punches Jeremy from the quartering. Huge ups, Corey, on capitalizing my name and my channel name. Greatly appreciated. Then Alana Pierce obviously knows who I am too, says, oh my, I don't know who any of these people are. Um, he's feeling spicy about it. 
Um, then this guy says, why does everyone hate him? All he does is commentary on video games. The problem is his videos are too long. Fair criticism, friend. That seemed well, um, you know, a well replied, uh, well thought out response. Then people, um, of course, freak out with out of context screenshots or maybe legitimate mistakes that I've made in the past. I'm not without, um, I'm definitely not without fault. And Corey, listen, no hard feelings. Seriously. You know, I would love to be featured as a villain or a heel and well, my likeness be used as a heel in one of your future video games. It would be a great honor. Uh, to which I reply finally, I say, I have no idea who you are or any of these sad apparent friends of you are, but yeah, laughing about violent being violent is kind of you all thing. You're all things, it would seem. Regardless, I would never line cut and I would never waste time at some place as vapid as TwitchCon. Enjoy being salty. To which Corey does respond. Huge ups. No one ever really knows who I am, so it's all good. Half the time, people think I'm Seth Rogen's B-tier stand-in. Uh, it's all good in good fun, though. No one here advocates for violence of any kind. Well, I mean, I make things that have player optional uh, in-game, so I guess there's that. Well, certainly Corey doesn't, but there are people in this thread that I absolutely do. Um, and, of course, I have no problem at all, you know, People are allowed to dislike you. It, it doesn't bother me in, in the slightest. Um, they talk about later, this whole weekend, you know, she refuses. Uh, where is this? Apparently, she must have a lot of friends. Um, and then you have uh, Bunty King in here getting in, trying to get in that uh, Alana DMs. Definitely not looking thirsty at all. And I, I just doubt that this thing ever happened. I thought it was interesting, though, that uh, people like Bunty and uh, Corey were chiming in. That means we're in their head. I mean, that's all I can really say about it. Uh, you know, I think it's hilarious. I think that um, in terms of what, you know, it's funny how small the world that we live in really is. And... There's, you know, everyone chiming in just to listen and believe. Big yikes. Uh, I just I just don't believe that that it ever happened. Uh, I don't believe, um, you know, that I don't believe it. And then uh, we see, obviously, Rami Ismail. I don't know who this dude is. Um, he's clearly spends or they spend their time on, on Twitter. Uh, being mad about stuff. Um, but then Corey replies, I feel like I'm going to get punched for making that joke, but like punched with a reaction video. Vunched. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I will vunch you because uh, this is what I do. You know, you knew I was going to make this video. And um, I, I don't care. People are absolutely inclined to dislike me. Um, but the idea that you're, ner you know, she's nervous for him. Um, I don't know. I think that, uh, that's fine. Corey's totally entitled to not like me. He's entitled to take shots at me on Twitter. I'm taking a shot. You know, he's popular on Twitter. I have a small following on YouTube, so I'll use my YouTube following to point it out. I think it's a fine joke to make, although... To imply I would ever spend my time at a herpes-riddled convention of Twitch influencers is absurd. It proves you don't know who I am. I would never do that. And uh, if I was at a convention, I absolutely wouldn't skip line. And I wouldn't subscriber measure. I've never I've never done that. So my only complaint is that that, that burn probably isn't really accurate. He probably should have said, you know, Jeremy from The Quartering is going to make a 10-minute and one-second video about this. Look out. But uh, hey... The industry knows the channel. They are aware of it. Most of these replies are very positive other than just a few people that are just really, really upset with me because I talked about She-Ra and they, they haven't gotten over it for two years. Whatever it was, that one really hit home with people because they keep bringing it up two or three years later, like a thousand videos later. But um, yeah, I saw it. It was funny. Uh, Corey, I, I wish you all the best. I'm glad you watch my videos. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. Obviously, you're a huge fan. I can tell uh, because what this really reads like to me is a warning. 
you know you're aware of what happened to the last person that did that and how it turned out for them. So obviously you're warning Zachary Ryan, a very aggressive IGN employee. Um, you get to see, you know, I hope this, oh, you throw a milkshake. You know, this guy is very, very not okay. And I'm assuming his Twitter feed is full of all sorts of TDS. Oh, there we go. Topped right away. Here's a... Alana Pierce and her with their drumpf tweets. Uh, this is really not that surprising. Well, enjoy fading into obscurity, IGN. Your monolith is falling apart. Your legacy media is no longer worthwhile. You've become a meme, a joke. People with a webcam and a microphone in their basements are doing far better than you. And that's not talking about me. That's talking about my contemporaries, people in the space. People who do good video game reviews who aren't bought and paid for. Nobody trusts IGN anymore. Uh, it's just something to make fun of, which is exactly what this video is. So, Zach, keep fighting the power by um, accosting people who skip in line. We'll see how that works out for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Above you'll find some links to watch more videos as well as a nice big button to subscribe which I hope you'll do. If you did enjoy it, make sure before you go that you leave a like and a comment on the video because you are the number one reason this channel continues to grow and I appreciate you.